Welcome to Global Report, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. On June 16, 2025, the gates of Le Bourget Airport opened for the 55th Paris Air Show, buzzing with anticipation. Amidst the familiar giants, a bold new presence stood out, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMAC. Their pavilion, draped in red and white, drew crowds to a gleaming full-scale model of the C919. This wasn't just another aircraft display, it was a statement of China's arrival on aviation's biggest stage. French media called it, China showing its muscles, and the world took notice. The timing was striking. The industry was facing turbulence, geopolitical tensions, supply chain woes, and recent tragedy. Comac's confident display signaled stability and ambition, a new star rising in the East. The C919 was more than an airplane, it was a symbol of shifting power in the skies. Delegates and journalists jostled for a closer look, sensing a challenge to the long-standing Airbus Boeing duopoly. This airshow was about more than technology, it was about the future of global aviation. The C919's presence promised to reshape the competitive landscape for decades. The show had just begun, but its biggest story was already unfolding on the exhibition floor. So, what is the C919? It's China's answer to the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737, a single-aisle narrow-body jetliner built for the world's busiest routes. With seating for up to 192 passengers and a range of over 5,500 kilometers, it targets the heart of the global market. The C919 is the result of a national project launched in 2008, aiming to break into the high-stakes world of commercial aircraft. Its name is symbolic C for China and COMAC. 9 for longevity, 19 for its maximum seating. Technologically, it's a modern jet, blending a Chinese airframe with Western systems, including Leap 1C engines from CFM International. This global collaboration let Comac focus on design and integration, leveraging proven technology. For decades, airlines had only two choices for large jets Boeing or Airbus. The C919 is the first credible challenger, backed by China's industrial might. Its arrival signals a fundamental shift, a third major player entering a game long defined by two. The duopoly is officially on notice. Despite the buzz, the C919 faces a major obstacle certification. To fly commercially in most of the world, it needs approval from authorities like ESA in Europe or the FAA in the US. As of the Paris Air Show, it's only certified in China. Without ESA or FAA approval, it can't be sold or flown in Europe or North America. Certification is a rigorous, years-long process, especially for a newcomer like Comac. Yet, Comac's bold Paris showing was a strategic move build brand awareness, show confidence and pressure regulators. The company is working with Yasa, but progress is slow. For now, sales are limited to China and countries recognizing Chinese certification, but the domestic market gives Comac a strong foundation. The certification hurdle is high, but Comac is tackling it with patience and state-backed resources. Even without European certification, the C919 was a star at Le Bourget. The Comac Pavilion buzzed with airline delegations from the Middle East, Southeast Asia, and Africa. The excitement wasn't just about the plane, it was about having a real third option. More competition means better prices and more choices for airlines. By the show's opening, Comac had over 1,000 C919 orders, mostly from Chinese airlines. 20 jets were already flying commercial routes in China, building a track record. Industry analysts, engineers, and journalists flocked to see the C919 up close. Its lack of certification became part of its underdog narrative, a challenger taking on the giants. Airlines, frustrated by the Boeing Airbus duopoly and long wait times, saw hope in the C919. The enthusiasm was for more than a new plane, it was for a new era of competition. The C919 represented leverage and a future with more control for airlines. The C919's rise comes as Boeing and Airbus face unprecedented challenges. Supply chain issues have led to major production delays, with aircraft deliveries dropping sharply since 2018. Airlines, stuck with aging fleets and delayed expansion plans, are frustrated. This has made them more open to alternatives. Enter the C919. 
while Comac faces some of the same supply issues, its focus on China gives it more control. For airlines, a C919 available sooner than an A320neo or 737 MAX is a compelling option. The duopoly now faces pressure on price, delivery, and customer support. The C919 breaks their market dominance and changes every sales negotiation. The days of a two-player game are over. The arrival of the C919 marks a new, more competitive era for commercial aviation. The industry's comfortable status quo is gone. The C919 is just one piece of Comac's broader strategy. The company also builds the C909, a regional jet for short-haul routes, already flying in China and Southeast Asia. The C909's export success, especially in Indonesia, proved Comac could support aircraft abroad. Next up is the C929, a wide-body jet designed to compete with the Airbus A350 and Boeing 787. With a planned capacity of 280 passengers and a 12,000-kilometer range, the C929 targets long-haul international travel. At Paris, Comac announced new supplier agreements, moving the C929 closer to reality. This three-aircraft family mirrors the strategy of Airbus and Boeing, offering airlines a complete fleet solution. Comac isn't just building planes, it's building a global aerospace enterprise. The message Comac is here to compete on all fronts. Comac's rise is fueled by China's explosive aviation growth. In early 2025, China's civil aviation sector handled 190 million passenger trips, a staggering figure. This massive domestic demand gives Comac a unique advantage, a guaranteed market to scale up and mature its products. By 2043, China will need nearly 9,500 new aircraft, over 20% of global demand. Having a domestic champion like Comac is central to China's economic strategy. The C919 can build a track record at home before going global, reducing risk for international buyers. This feedback loop, market growth fueling Comac and Comac fueling national ambitions, is powerful. State support and market size have made Comac a credible third force in aviation. The once impenetrable duopoly now faces a formidable challenger. The C919's Paris debut sent shockwaves through the European aviation world. Publicly, leaders welcomed competition. Privately, anxiety ran high. The arrival of a state-backed rival with a huge home market is a strategic threat. EU officials face a dilemma, champion free markets, or protect their own aerospace industry. Certification of the C919 is now a tool of industrial policy and trade negotiation. Industry analysts were surprised by Comac's rapid progress and massive order book. The C919's success, even if mostly in China, forced a major reassessment. Boeing and Airbus's production struggles make them vulnerable to Comac's rise. Building a modern jetliner is a monumental feat, and Comac has delivered. The whispers at Le Bourget were clear. The C919 is real, and the global landscape has changed. The 2025 Steen Noise Bechen will no fur. A 25 Paris Air Show will be remembered as a turning point. The C919's arrival ended the Boeing Airbus duopoly and began a new era in aviation. The market will likely split, the C919 dominating in China and expanding in Asia, Africa, and South America. All eyes are now on EASA and the FAA. Will they certify the C919? Approval would make Comac a global player, rejection could fragment the industry. For airlines and passengers, more competition means innovation, lower prices, and shorter wait times. Boeing and Airbus must now accelerate R&D and fix production bottlenecks. The ultimate winner is the flying public. As the lights dimmed on Le Bourget, the message was clear. A new power has entered the skies. The race for the future of aviation is now a three-horse race.